What's going on, my beautiful people? Papa J here, coming to you live Thursday, October the 10th, about 12 noon p.m. I'm not sure what time this is getting uploaded. It's a sad time for the people of my country, my, my homeland away from my homeland, the land of Haiti, the island of Haiti. My parents were born and raised there, and it's sad to see the state of the country how the people over in the country are being treated and how the people who, who leave for, for safety and for opportunities, how they're being treated in, in different countries, including here, you know, it's sad. And, you know, all this devastation that they're going through, I blame on one small little event, one tiny little mini minuscule event, the Haitian Revolution. The Haitian Revolution. The Haitian Revolution changed the way the world operated. You, you need to understand that. A country full of slaves changed the way the world operated. Unheard of. Well, it happened in the Bible. Moses came through and freed his people. That's the only other time it ever happened. You had many other rebellions in Rome, Spain, uh, London, Africa. Asia, well, that's a continent, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, even in America, where you had rebellions come up, come through, but they always chop down after a while, even with a little bit of success. That did not happen in Haiti. This rebellion turned into a revolution. You know what a revolution is? It's a change. It's a change in the way people live. It's a change in the way of the justice system of a, of a country or an island. It's the way... Politics changed in the island. The Haitians did that. You know, they somewhat paused and crippled the world and made noise that uh, we're here. I really want to talk about um, five reasons why everybody should care about Haiti's independence and the Haitian Revolution, not only for Soup Jumu. Um, you know, sometimes I, I tell people about the Haitian Revolution and they've never heard of it. There are even some Haitians who don't know the story of the Haitian Revolution, you know what I mean? <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, and, you know, I'm talking about Haitians born here. And I think everybody who's born in Haiti knows the history, but. Um, I remember I was in college once and I told my professor, poetry professor, about the Haitian Revolution. He thought it was a fictional story I made up. I'm like, nah, G, they did that. So you better give me an A in this class. Oh, I'm going to do that. Um, so number one, freedom. The people of the island took this idea known as freedom. And made it a reality. They took this fantasy. Known as freedom. This was a fantasy to slaves in any country that they were a slave. Freedom. To be free. To be on your own. To be doing your own thing. They took that idea and made it a reality. Do you understand? And this thing spread around the world. It's like your kid is doing math. And then you give your kid a calculator. You think they're going to go back to the old way of doing math? No, they're going to be using the calculator from now on. And if you don't know the calculator well, believe me, they're going to learn it better than you. And they're going to change the way they operate because they know how to use a calculator now. Well, this freedom spread around like that. And once people found out that they could be free, the Haitian folk were like, listen, like, Humans have a natural right to be free. The Haitians spread that. Um, thing number two, while this freedom was uh, being spread around like, like a blunt at a Snoop Dogg party, there was something called the transatlantic slave trade going on. This is how they, this is how they move slaves around for their business. This transatlantic slave um, 
route, um, trade, um, stops, um, was a multi trillion zillion dollar business. That's, that's what it would have been, you know? And Haiti came through and said, nah, we're going to, um, stop most of that because, um, we're just as good as you. So, um, stop trying to drop people places because, um, they're people. <laughs> so the Haitian revolution was the beginning of the end of the transatlantic slave trade. You believe that? Multi-zillion dollar business crippled and trampled by a bunch of slaves in a small little island called Haiti. Most people don't know that. They have no clue about that. And the funny thing about this revolution, and I'm coming to number three right now, is these people in Haiti weren't fighting against regular, degular people. They were fighting against superpowers. Great Britain, Spain, France, Napoleon, one of the greatest. One of the greatest. Toussaint Louverture, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Henry Christophe was like, Napoleon who? So, with this idea spread of freedom, and with this crippling of the transatlantic slave trade, Napoleon was like, wait, hold up. This is affecting my pockets. You messing with my bag right now. So he sent his people to Haiti to try to stop all this nonsense. <laughs> he thought he thought he was just gonna <laughs> run through the country because there's a bunch of slaves. <laughs> he didn't know about Dessaline on the ground though, bro. That's Lee was like, <laughs> not today, my friend. So, you know, uh, France, they basically owned like almost the whole West Coast of America and they were going to make it theirs, the Louisiana Purchase. But they were getting their ass rocked so much in Haiti that they had to pull soldiers out from America and send them down there. And when they sent them down there, guess what happened? Haiti massacred everybody. They were like, listen, I don't care how many people you sent here. We want to be free. God gave us a natural right to be free. So, excuse me, you have to go. And don't take that griot with you. Put that down, please. What's happened to all the griot? So that happened. So if it wasn't because of that, America would have so many less states than what we have now. They stopped Napoleon. Two places, in America and in Haiti. So, I'm coming to number four right now. I don't want to make this too long. And I want to get back to some comedy. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. But listen to this. After Haiti took their freedom, guess what they did? Yeah, they partied. They ate Sujumu. They, they did a little compa, but they went to go free other countries. After this country that was full of slaves took their freedom from the superpowers, they went to go free other countries. Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru. There's one more. What's the one more? One more. Bolivia. There we go. Panama. There we go. So. <laughs> so. So. So these slaves got their freedom and they went to other countries to help free them. And if you don't believe me, I want you to look at the flags of like Colombia and Venezuela and Ecuador, what you'll notice is the blue and red from the Haitian flag stitched to their flag in honor of the people who came to liberate them. 
I told this once to this uh, Colombian waitress at a restaurant because they had Colombian flags everywhere. I was like, do you know the history of the flag? She was saying something to me. I'm like, nah, my G. That blue and red is for Haiti. We saved your ass. So this this bill you gave me here, I'm going to need a discount. It, that's like a movie. Like you, you save yourself, then you go save other people. Yo, to me, that's that's crazy. Um, and I'm coming to this last point right here. Um, then I'm gonna shut this down. You guys know Black Panther, right? The movie. Wakanda. Um, Stan Lee, when he was writing it, Wakanda was based on the country known as Haiti. I know you're like, what are you talking about? There's no vibranium in Haiti. No, there's no vibranium, but they have resources in their mountains that make the world go round. That's why so many people have an interest in the country. People are blinded by the charades of what's going on. But the country's packed with natural resources that you can start a whole other planet with. Um, so my people have to suffer because of that. They are forced to pay back to France at the time was 91 million. I, I don't know what that inflates to today, but it's a crazy amount that could cripple a brand new country. Um, America... I mean, they, they, America, they, they didn't take their freedom, but they gained it in 1776. They were a pretty new, new country too. They should have understood with Haiti, but they were, they black. I don't understand them because they, they black. Come on now. Um, and that's about it. I read the declaration of independence of Haiti one time. And if you ever have a chance to read this, to read Jean-Jacques Dessalines words, Yo, I can understand why the country has to go through all this that they're going through right now. Because they were no joke. And I know that in the near future, they will be put back together themselves. And they'll strive again. And, you know, hey, maybe my kids go, <laughs> go home and... <laughs> Get some land there, you know what I mean? Or maybe even me. Who knows when it's going to happen? Um, but that's about it. Um, I just had that on my chest and I wanted to speak about that for a little bit. Um, I did a video. It was like a montage in the Haitian Revolution. It's on my page. Like, I, I don't know. Something, maybe something here you could click. Uh, check that out. I also got, you know... Some comedic stuff, a small little series on here. Check those out. And you guys got to subscribe. You got to subscribe. You got to like. You got to comment. If you watch a video of mine, right, and, and you like it, don't email me or inbox me or text message me to tell me. Leave the comment on the page, and then you can still call me. It, 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 it helps me and my page and the algorithm. So you got to like, you got to comment and share if possible. You can still tell me directly, but it, it counts on there. All of that stuff counts. And uh, that's about it, guys. You know, uh, 1804 was a cosmic event that impacted the world. And the country of Haiti still feel the effects today. But... Greatness can't be stopped for too long. So they'll be back on their feet soon. And uh hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Much love. Much blessings. And um, live your life. <laughs>